So I, I wouldn't state outright that just optimizing the flora is going to optimize performance for a lot of the reasons that you just said. There's so many other, other factors, but I think if you just look back, you know, not even 10 years ago, five years ago, uh, we knew so little about what was making up that microbiome. There was a, a lot of work done, a lot of publications, but it, but it stopped at a number of samples that would actually reflect the whole biology. Well, now, as of about the last two to three years, we're in an era where we can, through high throughput sequencing, DNA sequencing, we can learn what's not only there, what proportions of organisms that are there, but we can do it in big numbers. So instead of doing you know, a dozen or more birds per flock, there's probably no reason why we can't do hundreds of birds per flock across the country and really learn what's there. And then from that, I think the next step is optimizing or correlating all that data with performance that's specific to a geography, a climate, and a food type, et cetera, and a genetics. So that's what I think, as, as speaking from the microbes point of view, has to be done to optimize that flora to the point that you can optimize it to get a positive outcome. Ultimately, I was gonna just add that if you look back at some of the products that have been used, um, in as early as 1973, some of the, the first published work on competitive exclusion, essentially they were using cultured feces, which worked very well. It had, it had a measurable significant effect. But the problem with feeding cultural feces back to broilers for production is that regulatory agencies can't deal with not knowing what's in that culture. Well, now we have the tools that we should be able to say analytically what's in that culture. So I would say we need to revisit this idea of big mixtures of organisms that more accurately reflect nature in what the mother hen passed on to her chick by virtue of the nest, or in this case, the hatchery. So we're at that stage now where we have those tools, 